without my loving care for a week. Although I'm sure my cell phone will go off several times more while I'm gone, but that's just how it is, so. Okay, yep, looks like we got a mess going on up here. But yeah, so anyway, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of an Ulta haul that I just got and just kind of talk about what I have on my lips and you know, just kind of share a little bit with you as I come into my last few miles before I get home um, yeah so you know I'm headed on vacation I am going to try to do some videos this weekend it looks like I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be in GG mode tomorrow while I'm doing laundry and things so I don't know how well that's gonna go over but maybe I can like maybe my grandson and I can kind of do a video together or something with me I don't know we'll see but don't get your hopes up it may be that I have to actually do it when I come back um, as far as show you what I took on my vacation and just basically do it the same way just you'll see it after I come back but we'll see how it works out and hopefully I can get it done and I'm trying to think of everything I need to update you guys on because I haven't done like a video video like a vlog in a long time and my vlog is where I like keep you guys informed um, yeah so anyway let's go ahead and talk about the Ulta situation so I went into Ulta a couple days ago because the last weekend I spent for the most part of my weekend just watching videos on YouTube. I was I uh, looked up foundations, various foundations that I've heard about, the Makeup Forever uh, Invisible Cover Stick, the HD Cover Stick. I was, I'm really intrigued by that, which you guys will see in the video that I'm going to post. Now that will get posted this weekend because I, I will probably work on it either tonight or tomorrow and get it posted. I just need to put all the footage and all the clips together and do some editing and all that good stuff. So that will definitely post. So you'll get to see that video. So I don't want to talk too much about that so that you can actually see it and, you know, go from there. But, um, so I watched tons and tons of videos this weekend because I feel that I need a new foundation. And mainly I think I, need, I want a new foundation because I... Um, I'm sorry I'm watching the traffic I feel like I'm having a bit of a dry spell and I think because of the little bit of a dry spell I feel like I want something that's a little bit more luminous for my skin as far as foundations I want to go a different route um, it's not like I'm having dry patches or anything like that but I notice my skin is drier than it normally is but yet, I put on certain foundations and I think, wow, I look flawless, so I like it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm on a quest. When I get on a quest, it's like dangerous. So I'm watching all these YouTube videos. And then I went online to look at Ulta while I was checking my email. And I saw their Lorac New Necessities palette. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty cute. I like. So I want it's exclusive to Ulta. So I wanted to go check that out. So I ran an Ulta on, I think, like day before yesterday to check it out to see if I was going to like it or whatever and I I swatched that thing about three or four times my first my first impression was I, I really didn't want to take it home and then I swatched it again and I was like Ooh, maybe so I kind of like it so I ended up getting it and um, I have it in my bag right now so this was really a haul that I did actually a couple of days ago go ahead lady so this is the Lorac New uh, Necessities palette and I will definitely do a review on this palette uh, when I saw it on Ulta I was so intrigued by it I also looked it up on YouTube now I watched probably I don't know 15 different videos about it and I only saw one video from a woman of color so um, you know so I'm kind of I was like well does this mean that you know we're looking at it and we're like it's not working for us or 
So I thought, you know, I'm definitely going to go look at it. So I went to Ulta and looked at it. And I honestly thought it was a pretty neat palette. The first impression didn't like it so much. Then I looked at it again, the colors. I was like, I, I just need to satisfy my curiosity. I'm going to go ahead and get it and take it home. And, oh, my nose. And if I don't like it, I'll just bring it back. So I do have it. And I actually have it on my eyes right now. So I'll take my glasses off. You can probably see my nose print on my glasses. Um, my no, glass print on my nose. Yeah. So um, I do have it on my eyes right now, and it looks pretty darn good if I might say so myself. The real reason why I wanted this palette was because I was actually wanting something that I, how shall I put it? I tend to like, I feel like sometimes when I'm putting on eyeshadow that you can't, like I'm like, before I, I like it's like it looks pretty and then I'm gonna I'm gonna darken it just a little bit and then I'll take a dark color and the next thing I know I have too much dark on my eyes because I really don't have a lot of real estate on my eyelids so before I know it I end up with these dark eyes and I like them for certain times but I was trying to find more of an everyday look that I didn't have as dark eyes so that being said that was why I was so intrigued by this palette and um, it's, it's working for me so far, but I'll definitely do a review. I don't want to do too much talking about it because I definitely want to do the review on it and share a little bit more about it. But um, So that's out of the way. But the thing about it is when I got the palette the other day, they were supposed to give me a free mascara, which I don't even know what mascara this is. I mean, I'm assuming it's a Lorac mascara because it's from Lorac. Um, yeah, Lorac Pro Plus Fiber Mascara that's what that looks like I have no idea anything about it so definitely looking forward to trying it and then I will definitely give you guys a review on that as well so I went back today to get that because they did not put that in my bag the other day so I wanted my free mascara so I went back in to get that today and the color on my lips is what happened when I went back into Sephora now I actually don't own this color I don't know which color it is because it's by the Tarte Lip Paints it's the two it's actually two of the bright colors mixed together because I was just trying to see what they look like. Car. Okay, really? Was that necessary to cut me off? People are just so dang rude. I swear to goodness. Oh, I'm telling you, I honestly think people have started drinking for Valentine's Day because everybody's driving like a freaking madman. It just irritates the heck out of me. Okay, let me... Can you see my eyes? I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to have a moment there. So anyway, I better leave this off so y'all can see my lips, my eyes, and everything. So the foundation looking pretty good over there, considering I haven't touched my face all day, y'all. And this is in the p.m. It's five o'clock in the p.m. and I haven't touched his face all day. I'm proud. I'm proud. And this is one of my Laura Mercier's, um, Laura Mercer, Laura Mercier, however you want to say it. Um, foundations and I don't remember which one it is and this one I don't think is a matte one I think this was actually not supposed to be a matte but you know I have on my hourglass primer underneath and I think I'm going back to my hourglass primer I have that has been my number one primer forever and I went on a quest to find something different and I noticed when I did my makeup forever cover stick review HD cover stick it looks so much better and lasted so much better when I put the um the, the hourglass primer underneath and today I have on the hourglass primer underneath so I'm gonna say it's safe to say I may have to go back to that bad boy because it just I mean my face is looking like I just applied my makeup and I I'm, I kid you not I did this at six o'clock this morning so I am not lying y'all I am so impressed right about now I'm just looking at myself I'm sorry I can't help but admire myself right now but yeah so let's get back to the lips because I'm almost at home so um I went in there to look at some colors for uh, well I went in there to do the whole get my mascara but then I thought I really wanted to look at the colors that was um, on the top lip uh, paints again because I wanted to see what colors I was like I need to try one on my lips and my, my lip uh, stick had actually worn off which I'm surprised that it did but I did some picking at my lips today so I think that's why I probably wore off but anyway so I tried the two brighter colors and I just ended up mixing them together I kind of wanted to see what how bright they were I was hoping one of them was gonna be a little bit more muted than it is but it just it came across very bright on my lips so I was like well 
I don't quite want one that bright. I mean, I, I like the color. It's not that I don't like the color. I just have so many bright lipsticks like this that I don't, I'm trying to find colors in families that I don't already have. So, um, yeah, so I I probably won't get this one or the two of these because I have two colors mixed together. But I did end up going ahead, let me put these back on for a second so I can see what I'm doing. So um, I did end up going ahead and picking up Namaste which is their nude color in this, in this uh, tart lip paint. And I do like it. I think I just put it on my hand. I haven't put this one on my lips yet. So I need to actually check it out on my lips. But I don't know, I'm like into this more muted nude look these days for some reason. And, um, oh well, trees got cut. But yeah, so, um, okay, now we're in a spot where you ain't gonna be able to see me worth a darn. So anyway, but you've seen everything pretty much. So anyway, that's what the, the story is with going on with the lips. So I think I pretty much have shared anything, everything with y'all. Anyway, oh my goodness, my flowers fell over. See my beautiful flowers that I got for Valentine's Day? They're warm because it's been hot in my car because I have no AC. But my beautiful flowers that I got for Valentine's Day. I love, I like, I like you. Yeah. And are you, are you checking out my Ray-Bans, by the way? I got my Ray-Bans through OfferUp for 20 bucks. Not a bad deal. I like, I like a lot. So that's my latest purchase. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to go ahead and get off because I just pulled into my driveway and I'm doing my girlfriend's hair. I'm going to be doing a weave job tonight. So that's going to take me forever. And I've I need to I need a few minutes to kind of wind down because it's been a long day and there's a little kid running walking behind my car but yeah so I need to go in I need to have a few minutes to wind down it's been a long day and I need to figure out where I'm at in life so I will catch up with you guys later um, I know this video was totally like all over the place and I had a little tangent in the middle of it I apologize but it's it was just one of those days. So I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye.